throat. His stomach's getting a lot worse. Ah! It's rigid. Ah! He's bleeding into his abdomen. What's going on? We need a surgeon in the Noir stack. On it. Try to hang in there, Carnell. The infection caused a perforation in his sigmoid colon. That's repairable. But it means the antibiotics aren't working. Double the dose, and then tag yourself to the list. As soon as he's out of surgery. Where's Richie Rich? He said he can't leave work. Yeah, you told me that two hours ago. I'm not gonna lie. Boy, because it's wrong? Or because you're a coward? Hmm, tough choice. You'd be wasting two hours of the kid's time. Is that deeply and unforgivably morally wrong? No, because it's not a waste of his time. Unless we're wrong. Unless his condition's got nothing to do with his friends. You're just afraid of being wrong. Your parents called. They had a kitchen earlier. You don't have to lie to him. Kid's on his way here. He got off work? Yeah, by vomiting blood. Ambulance is 10 minutes out. You Taddy? What? Love the name. If I ever have a dog, take off his pants. Hey. Don't talk to her, listen to me. He's vomited in excess of three units of blood. He needs to be admitted before you If you, you wanted to be a doctor, maybe you should have buckled down a little more in high school. Bite me. What are you doing? Exactly how close were you and Carnell? Not so close. Spent a lot of time together in Jamaica? Share a room? Wait, you don't think. Look, we're not gay. I'm not saying you're gay. I'm saying you had sex. <sighs> Look, we're not gay. We hardly even hung out. Right. So you just flew him down to Jamaica because he won a contest. No, he's in my frat. All right, between school and wrestling and going home every break to work at his father's junkyard, Connell didn't have any time to hang out with anybody. It's not fungus. I already told you that. It's not pustules, it's not staph. His dad's what? His dad owns a scrap metal salvage yard. Connell worked that during breaks. You lied. What are you talking about? Oh. Yeah, of course, in this family, probably need more specifics. You told us you owned a construction company, not a salvage yard. I know the way things work. The better my job, the better my son gets treated. Right, that's why I'm mad. We wasted all that filet mignon on you. Did your kid find anything unusual the last time he worked for you? No. Braided wire, middle weights on each end, the lead canister, maybe just the lid. Probably used it as a doorstop or a paperweight. Why would he want to? Okay, here it comes. I gave him an early graduation gift, the old plum I found. Looks like a fishing weight. Put it on a keychain so he always remember where he came from. So we can lie about it later. Where's the keychain? I don't know. He never used it, just kept it as a good luck charm. Kept it where? I don't know. Why? Why does it matter? Where are the kid's clothes? In the bureau, back in his regular room. You two, get it to radiology. His clothes? The bureau, don't open it. You come with me. Let's set it down there. Now get out of here. This thing is radioactive. The chances of radiation causing CNS symptoms? Radiation measurements weren't high enough to cause central nervous system damage. It might not have caused nerve damage, but it definitely destroyed his immune system. And caused tumors. We don't know that. None of the MRIs showed anything. Do a PET scan. Check his cervical spine. It's not going to be good news. Mr. Hall, it's not good news. A piece of metal gave Carnell was from an industrial device used to test wells. Well, people aren't supposed to just dump radioactive material. But they do. So what now? I mean, what do you do? 
Anyone who's had contact with the source will have to immediately get treatment for radiation sickness. Taddy carried it on his lap on the flight. So there is a treatment. Transfusions. And we try to get the fluids in electrolytes balance. Carnell, he's had much more exposure. The equivalent of about 70,000 chest x-rays. His ability to create white blood cells has been completely destroyed. And that's why he can't fight off this infection. He's going to need a bone marrow transplant. And we did a, we did another PET scan. There's a cavernous angioma within his spinal cord. It's a tumor. That's what's been causing the shocks and CNS symptoms. He has a tumor inside of his spinal cord. The cord is, is made of strands put together, sort of like a kite string. Uh, the surgeon should be able to pull the strands apart and excise the tumor, but surgery on someone who's as hemopoietically compromised as your son is, is extremely risky. And, uh... If you don't do the surgery, I mean... The tumor could cause his breathing to stop. Possibly his heart as well. <laughs> Look, there's no way you could have known. You're gonna have to come with us. You need to start treating yourself. No, 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 no. I can start my treatment later. But he can't. He needs to be in a sterile isolation room to prevent further infections. How uh, longer do you think he'll be in surgery? It's hard to say. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, um, he just started school when Ann died. I was a mess. <laughs> Still adjusting to being a parent, much less a single parent. You know, I used to um, put cold pancakes in his lunchbox. <laughs> I mean, that was the only thing I could make that he would eat. <laughs> you did okay. He's a good kid. Yeah. Oh, hey. So, so how is he? Well, the surgeon has removed the tumor without damaging the spinal cord, but. The infection has caused another intestinal perforation. We stopped the bleeding, but his white count keeps falling. Okay. So, so what now? Another drug? Antibiotics? What? I'm sorry. The reality is, no matter what we give him, it's unlikely he's going to be able to fight off the infections. Nothing good that came out of her dying. I'm not mad. I know why you did it. It worked. I never. 
for drink and drive. I'm scared, Dad. <laughs> Come on. There's nothing to be scared of. You're gonna be just fine. Don't play me. I want to know the truth. I'm telling you the truth. You're going to be fine. I swear. I love you, Dad.